Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Rod's Random Reviews. And uh, yeah, I always talk about how these things are getting pretty random, but today I'm gonna to talk about coffee. And uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV as the joke goes. So consult your physician before you start drinking too much coffee and things like that. But I like to start my day with a concoction that I'll use my own term you know, there's bulletproof coffee, there's wellness coffee, there's all this, but this is the Duke coffee cocktail that I think gets my day going well. So uh, I do recommend, you know, a Yeti cup, an Arctic cup, a Walmart cup or something like that to, um, to put it in because it's going to take you a while to drink this and you want it to stay, you want it to stay warm or hot while you're drinking it. It's almost turns out like it's a hot milkshake, which is very, very good. But what about coffee? You know, I think it's been documented that it helps uh, boost brain power. I tell you what, while I'm talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and start um, putting a few things in here. I like to put a little bit of protein powder in there. But anyway, back to coffee. Um, coffee uh, helps boost your brain power. It increases blood pressure. I'm gonna circle back to that in, in a little bit. But, you know, we're not talking about a whole lot of um, uh, protein powder to kind of get your get your day started but uh, protein powder by the way uh, helps offset the blood pressure it lowers blood pressure so you're kind of balancing the act there but back to coffee uh, it uh, improves your immune system it has antioxidants uh, there's also research that shows that it uh, uh, can help eliminate cancer or maybe not eliminate it but minimize cancer and uh, you really want some fresh ground coffee of some sort. Here we have some Folgers, uh, but some very good coffee is, is, uh, is what you should start with. Uh, coffee can also release a headache, uh, relieve a headache. Uh, it can reduce stress, been shown to re reduce stress, improve memory. My goodness, don't we all need that short-term memory I'm talking about. And it can help you lose weight. So anyway, what do I put in it? You talked, I talked about the protein powder, which is good for muscle, um, you know, helping generate muscles. Um, it can reduce the blood pressure, but also I like to put turmeric in there. You know, you can buy the turmeric tablets, but I just have the little um, can here. I put uh, just a dab of turmeric in there. It's good for your heart. It's good for anti-inflammatory if you're having joint muscles or joints. Uh, aching or something like that. It also has the antioxidants. Another recurring theme there about antioxidants. So uh, very good, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, I think uh, others, you know, know the benefits of cinnamon as well. So I just put a dash of cinnamon in there. Again, you know, you can buy cinnamon tablets and take them, but uh, a dash of cinnamon. Uh, again, antioxidants, good for your heart. It's good for your blood pressure. So all of these things are, are very, very good. You know, I don't have my pink salt. I'm going to come back to the pink salt. Maybe I'll just talk about that and so, but I don't have it handy here. Uh, but uh, pink salt, uh, I put a pinch or two of pink salt in there. It has many benefits, uh, one of which is just flavor. But uh, Again, it helps offset, uh, you know, maybe some of the jitters you might get from drinking too much coffee. But I think three cups of coffee a day is probably pretty safe. I have a couple in the morning and usually one right after lunch. All right, coconut milk. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, coconut milk has a lot of uh, benefits as well. It helps lower your blood pressure. Uh, and, and let's see, I'm just going to grab one of these. Boom, coconut milk. What I'm using here is the organic coconut milk powder, but um, it helps you, uh, you know, potentially lose weight, builds muscle, and um, a lot of good benefits from coconut milk. All right, local honey. Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of nutrients in honey. There are... Um, um, it sweetens it and also for you know during allergy season it helps with your allergies if you are using a local honey so uh, I like to put a little honey in my uh, in my coffee a lot of people put it in tea but antioxidants as well and allergies 
All right, I don't have my uh, vitamin D here, but I do like to take a vitamin D tablet every day. Again, helping with your immune system and, um, and that sort of thing. All right, uh, you know, you could put a, some more sweetener in there, but I like to put a little almond milk, uh, lactose-free, soy-free, and um, uh, you know, low calorie. Gives a little flavor, but also gives you uh, an extra um, added taste and some nutrients. All right, so there you have it. Now, what next? Uh, you know, you, you've seen some people with uh, Bulletproof or Wellness Coffee. They you mix all this stuff up and they put it in a blender and they just make, you know, a big mess and then you got to clear the, the blender. So I do, like I said, like to use a Yeti cup or a, uh, an Arctic cup or a Walmart cup or something like that. But hey, guess what? Instead of, and I am going to put some uh, pink salt in here, I missed that. But instead of doing all of that, just get yourself one of these uh, coffee stir sticks. Uh, now, the one, one of the reasons I like to have a tall cup is, look what it's going to do. It's going to get that puppy stirring and, and put it all the way toward the, towards the top. So that's going to mix your... Uh, it's going to mix your protein powder up. It's going to mix your turmeric up, your cinnamon up. It's going to mix, you know, the coconut powder up. And there you have it, folks. You have the Duke version of Bulletproof Coffee, Wellness Coffee, and it tastes yummy. And look at that. It's almost like a warm milkshake early in the morning to get your day going. There you have it, folks.